Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Raxco Software podcast. My name is Joe Abbasamra, and it is June 19th, 2012. I'd like to welcome today Greg Hayes. Greg is Manager of Technical Solutions at Raxco Software. Greg has been with Raxco for over 16 years. He's a five-time Microsoft Most Valuable Professional, or MVP, in the area of file systems and storage. Welcome, Greg. Good morning, Joe. Thanks. Glad to have you here, Greg. Um, uh, today we're going to be talking about virtualization and performance issues and um, I/O issues in the virtualization area. We're seeing a lot more interest in the area of virtualization. We're getting increase here, and in businesses, large and small, calling in here and talking to us. Particularly talking to you, as you deal a lot with those customers. Um, can you talk talk a little bit about why you think that is? What, is, what are these companies experiencing? What are their pain points? What are they looking for? What are their problems they're experiencing in this whole virtualization area? Well, it's uh, quite interesting. Uh, back in the early days uh, in my career, uh, I was working with, with dumb terminals and people using them to connect to mainframes and minis. So you had big iron in a, in a, in a back room somewhere. Uh, and we saw through the years um, taking the computing power and putting it on people's desktops and now we're seeing it come back around with the virtualization um, space where everything is now located on big iron back in a big server room and people don't have the, the actual desktops. They're connecting uh, the servers or desktops to a, a virtual uh, guest that is running um, on an ESX or Hyper-V host with massive amount of backend storage. And so the, the issues that they're running into were the same issues uh, of the years ago, and that is where is, the na- where is the bottleneck? And the bottleneck to this day still remains storage. Uh, CPUs uh, have gotten more powerful and more numerous. Memory is cheap and plentiful. Disk storage capacity has increased, but disk storage performance uh, is still lagging very far behind. And so what these companies are running into is they have a a number of guests that are running on the same host and they're trying to figure out why they're having performance issues, why are they seeing <clears throat> latency issues, and they're looking to Raxco software to try to help them resolve those problems. Do you see that um, companies that are moving into virtualization, which just about everybody is, they either move there or certainly in that area right now, do they sometimes neglect the storage considerations at first? Do they not think that storage, storage and storage growth is going to be a problem? Well, I don't think it's that they neglect it. I think they've probably been over-promised by the storage manufacturers in terms of what the performance can deliver, uh, et cetera. And when it comes to real-world scenarios, they're finding out that, okay, maybe uh, we should have done things differently or maybe we need to look at something to help get the maximum use and performance out of the storage that we have. I got it. So. Uh, Software has to bail out the hardware people again, right? It, again, it's, it's been that way through the years. <laughs> um, talk a little bit about the SAN controllers and what you see in the, the area there in terms of the, the issue that you experience, the um, user experience. Well, what we're seeing is, is that we, uh, customers will have multiple physical hosts, uh, for example, uh, uh, ESX hosts, uh, three or four or more, and those hosts are all sharing or pointing to the same SAN stand, uh, controller. And what they're running into is the the guests that are running on each of the physical hosts are getting to the point where they're all saturating that that SAN storage. And they're looking for solutions, they're looking for ways to identify, to predict, and to mitigate uh, the the storage latency issues that they're seeing. Okay, and so what what is, um, can you talk a little bit about what Perfectus has in in that area, the solutions that we provide and how that uh, improves their performance in those in the virtualization area. Um, certainly, uh, one of the things that you really need to worry about is um, you know any additional I/O uh, that is seen in the actual guest. Uh, you want to try to minimize that uh, I/O as it goes through the host and to the storage controller. So, when in a virtual environment, there's a lot of things that you have to consider. Um, you know, Windows running in a guest, NTFS is NTFS. It doesn't know that it's in a virtual environment. So fragmentation in a virtual guest results in 
uh, additional and excessive or inefficient I.O. being seen by the host and then being have to be processed by the storage controller. So a perfect disk in a virtual environment is aware that it's in a virtual environment and it is cognizant of whether guest storage is then provisioned and will take steps and appropriate steps to, to manage that. Uh, it's aware that there are snapshots or linked clones. It is aware of resource usage, perfect disk is, at the guest level and at the physical host level and will only optimize the guests when there are sufficient resources available at the guest and the host. The whole idea here is to minimize the I.O. traffic actually seen by the storage controller. When you talk to companies, do they know what the issue is or do they sometimes uh, are they sometimes experiencing what they perceive to be performance issues and are kind of stuck as to what is going on here? I just know I've set up these virtual machines and it's just not performing as I thought it would or is it slower, more slow than I thought it would be? Well, you've pretty much hit it on the head. They're, again, they've, they've been promised things. They've been promised efficiencies. They've been prom promised uh, performance. And when they actually roll this out in a production environment, um, they start bringing guests online, hosts online, and getting production workloads in, in place, what they're seeing is that they're not look, getting the performance that they're expecting. And then they start trying to figure out why that is. And part of the issue that they're having is trying to figure out why are they not seeing the performance issues. And so eventually they hear about us or they read a blog or they, or they listen to a podcast. And um, you know, a lot of them are familiar with fragmentation from physical uh, Windows environments, and they think, okay, well maybe there is something to fragmentation in a virtual environment, and let's see if we can, uh, number one, see if fragmentation is an issue. If it is, let's solve it, and then see if that ultimately is solving our, our, our latency, our IO performance issues. Got it. Now, I think you've done some testing, some benchmarks, here with some, some of the major manufacturers, and do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, briefly. Uh, we, we work very, very closely with uh, VMware, with uh, Scott Drummond, who is now with EMC, um, and using the VMware uh, vSCSI stats, which measures uh, I.O. performance at the host level, uh, measuring things like uh, latency, uh, QDAPs, um, I.O. size, and things like that. And we did some benchmark testing uh, with, with VMware, and that, that, that benchmark is available off of our website. Um, and it's quite enlightening um, in what it shows. It shows that you, you get a reduction in latency, a uh, larger IOs are seen and processed by the host and therefore the storage controller, and there is a reduction in the number of IOs seen by the host and the storage controller. The end result is, is that the I.O. that is seen is processed more efficiently. Uh, and again, there's a white paper on our website that has these this benchmarks. Uh, you can go in and look at the actual raw numbers and, and the data. Yeah, it's, Greg, it seems like just within the physical world, it's, and, and we've always said, it's, it's not very sexy stuff. It can be kind of geeky stuff, but the, the fact of the matter is when you get down to those numbers and the nitty-gritty, it's, it's, that's where the bottlenecks are and that's where you can see a big boost in performance by uh, implementing these solutions. Exactly. The, the thing that, that, that really hasn't changed through the years is the speed of storage. While the speed of storage has gotten better and faster, uh, it still lags very, very far behind and in most organizations, storage still remains the bottleneck in terms of performance, getting data to and from the physical storage. Okay, Greg, we have right now Perfect Disk. There's a, a particular vSphere solution and Hyper-V solution under the Perfect Disk umbrella of products. Um, and do they pretty much work the same way in terms of the, the how they function? Uh, yes, there's some there's some uh, uh, differences in, in Hyper-V and and uh, ESX. Uh, and our, our Hyper-V solution takes advantage of things that, that Windows and Hyper-V allows us to do, and the same thing for, for ESX. But uh, at the higher level, uh, both products function essentially the same. They're able to detect uh, and, and, add, and manage uh, appropriately thin provisioned uh, guest drives, and be able to detect and um, uh, prioritize its activity based upon resource usage, both at the physical host and inside the virtual guest. 
Got it. Now, Greg, I know you, you know because of the um, high interest in this area, you and your team are devoting a lot of research to it. Can you talk a little bit about what's coming up in this in the area of virtualization for Perfect Disk and Raxco? Um, yes, um, I'll talk briefly about it. I don't want to go into too specific details, but uh, we're planning even tighter integration uh, with VMware, with the especially with uh, with ESX uh, five, some of the, the new APIs, the capabilities, including storage I/O control, uh, and that will allow us to better be able to to detect and throttle. Uh, our activity running inside of guests uh, when we detect that the, the actual SAN is performing slowly. Uh, so that will be a tremendous uh, boon to customers. Uh, we're also um, going to be adding some additional features um, where uh, most of the star storage vendors nowadays are, are promoting thin provisioning at the storage level and there are different mechanisms to allow uh, customers to reclaim uh, space in thin provision environments and we're going to provide some additional technologies to help them with that. Good. Well, Greg, I know you're talking to a lot of uh, companies that are in this area and what they're looking for, so I'm, I'm looking forward to what's coming out in Perfect Disk and um, looking for some great improvements there as well. Uh, so, Greg, I appreciate your time. I know you're busy, so thanks for stopping by. Certainly. Enjoyed having the chat with you. Thanks, everyone, for listening to the Rascal Software Podcast. My guest today has been Greg Hayes, Manager of Technical, technical Solutions at Rascal. Free evaluations of all Rascal's virtualization solutions and all its products can be downloaded at our website, www.rascal.com. I'm Joe Abbasamra. You can find me on Twitter at Perfect Disk. Bye for now.